Playmakers, the daily sports bulletin from the bridge that brings you the big news and the top plays from the world of Indian sports. Hello and welcome to the Playmakers. My name is Rahul Kargo. In the Playmakers today, we've got a double podium finish and more medals for India at the Paralympics and India is now all set to crown a new national women's singles number one in tennis. We begin with the Paralympics where on Wednesday night, Harvinder Singh scripted history to win India's first ever gold medal at the Paralympics by winning the gold medal match against Poland's Lukas Suzek in the final of the men's open recurve event. Harvinder had previously won India's first ever archery medal winning a bronze in men's recurve at the Tokyo Paralympics. In the gold medal match late on Wednesday night, Harvinder Singh was dominant right from the first arrow and the Polish archer was never in the contest. Harvinder Singh won the match after just three sets, winning with a six-love scoreline. Soon thereafter, Dharambir and Pranav Surma stepped up to the plate at the Star de France and won gold and silver respectively in the men's club throw F51 category. The F51 club throw is an event for wheelchair-bound athletes who attempt six back-to-back -back throws in one sitting. Dharambir shattered the Asian record with his best throw of 34.92 meters and clinched the gold medal, while Asian Paragames champion Pranav Surma won the silver medal with a best throw of 34.59 meters. Also on Wednesday night, the Indian para powerlifters were in action, but they had a forgettable outing with Paramjit Kumar and Sakina Khatun finishing 8th and 7th respectively. Paranjit Kaur could only manage a lift of 150 kilograms on his first attempt and then had two consecutive failed attempts at 157 and 160 one kilogram lifts in the men's up to 49 kilogram final. Later in the day, Sakina Khatun also failed to impress and finished in seventh place in the final of the women's up to 45 kilogram category with just one successful lift of 86 kilograms on her first attempt. India still has two more representatives at the Para Powerlifting in Paris who will compete in the coming days. On Thursday, in the parachuting mixed 50-meter rifle prone qualification round, Mona Agarwal and Siddhartha Basu finished 30th and 22nd respectively with scores of 610.5 and 615.8. With this result, India's shooting campaign at the Paralympics comes to an end. India's judokas were in action on Thursday and in the men's 60kg J1 blind judo event, Kapil Parmar went down love 10 against Iran's Saeed Abadi in the semi-finals. Kapil had earlier beaten Venezuela's Marcos Bianco 10 love in the quarterfinals but was unable to replicate that performance in the semi-finals. He will however have another shot at the podium via the repercharge rounds. In the women's 48kg J2 category of blind judo, Kokila Kaushiklathe succumbed 0-10 to Kazakhstan's Akmarai Notbek in the quarterfinals. She did have another shot at a podium finish, but another 0-10 loss to Yulia Ivanska meant that Kokila exited the competition. Elsewhere, in the mixed team recurve open archery event, Harvinder Singh, fresh from his gold medal on Wednesday night, teamed up with Pooja Jatian to beat Poland's Milena and Lucas Sixth Love to make the semi-finals. Thereafter, however, they lost their way, losing 2-6 to Italy in the semi-finals, and then they lost the bronze medal match as well to Slovenia in a narrow shoot-off. There was good news, though, coming from athletics, where Simran ran a confident race in the women's 100m T12 semi-finals to finish second with a timing of 12.33 seconds. A second place position was good enough for her to qualify for the finals. In other news now and at the World Deaf Shooting Championships in Hanover, Germany, on Wednesday, India's Mahit Sandhu continued to shine as she won the gold medal in the 50-meter rifle-prone women's final. Mahit won the gold medal with a world record score of 247 also, Abhinav Deshwal won a silver medal in the 25-meter pistol men's final. With this, India's medal tally at the championships has gone up to 15 with 4 golds, 7 silver 
and four bronze medals. In tennis, Shahaja Yamalapalli is set to become India's new number one women's singles player. The 23-year-old is currently ranked 303rd in the live WTA rankings. She will surpass Ankita Raina, who has been India's number one since 2018. The latest change in rankings will reflect on September 9th. At the ultimate table tennis in Chennai, Ahmedabad Pipers waltzed into the semi-finals in style with a 12-3 thrashing of Jaipur Patriots in a rather one-sided last league tie at the Jawaharlal Nehru Indoor Stadium in Chennai on Wednesday. Ahmedabad Pipers have thus finished the league stage at the second spot with 42 points. With this, the semi-final lineups are now all drawn up. The Bengaluru Smashers take on Goa Challengers, while the Ahmedabad Pipers play Dabang Delhi for a spot in the finals. And finally, our play of the day comes from the Paralympics, where Dharambir and Pranav Surma won gold and silver respectively in the men's club throw F51 category. Dharambir started poorly with four foul throws but then shattered the Asian record in his fifth attempt with a 34.92 meter throw. Meanwhile, the very consistent Pranav Surma won the silver medal with a best throw of 34.59 meters. And for this literal tag team action, Dharambir and Pranav Surma's gold and silver winning double podium finish in the men's club throw is our play of the day and that's all that i have for you on the playmakers today remember you can catch all the paralympics updates on the bridge.in and our social media handles my name is rahul karga thanks for watching until next time goodbye and good luck